In the vast expanse of space lurks a civilization on the brink of annihilation. Their homeworld, a chaotic dance of three suns, offers no solace. Desperate for survival, they set their sights on a new home, Earth. This is the story of humanity's first contact with an alien race, a chilling encounter that shatters our sense of security. This is Sheen Liu's science fiction masterpiece, The Three-Body Problem, throws us headfirst into a desperate fight for survival. This is just the beginning, as it marks the first book in a captivating trilogy known as Remembrance of Earth's Past. The story unfolds across two distinct eras. We first travel back to the tumultuous years of China's Cultural Revolution, 1960s. This period of social and political upheaval shapes the life of Yi Wenji, a young woman whose experiences will have profound consequences for humanity's future. Fast forward to the present day. We meet Wang Miao, a brilliant scientist specializing in nanomaterials research. His world is about to be turned upside down when he's drawn into a bizarre situation. But before we delve deeper into Wang Miao's story, let's explore the concept that binds these seemingly disparate narratives, the three-body problem. Imagine a solar system not with one sun, but three. Their gravitational pull creates a chaotic dance, making it nearly impossible to predict the movement of any celestial body within the system. This very problem plagues the alien civilization we'll soon encounter. Their homeworld is a place of constant upheaval, where entire civilizations rise and fall at the whim of their unpredictable suns. As you might guess, their desperation for a stable environment leads them to Earth, setting the stage for a terrifying confrontation. Now, let's delve deeper into Yi Wenji's story. The horrors of the Cultural Revolution leave an indelible mark on her. Witnessing the brutal death of her father at the hands of Red Guards shatters her faith in humanity, filling her with a deep sense of disillusionment. Sent to a remote labor camp in Inner Mongolia, Yi Wenji confronts the harsh realities of humanity's impact on the environment. Here, amidst the bleakness, she encounters a scientist who advocates for environmental protection. This encounter sparks a flicker of hope within her, but it's a fleeting moment. A pivotal event, one we won't reveal just yet, pushes Yi Wenji to make a life-altering decision. This choice sets in motion a chain of events with unimaginable consequences. Her actions inadvertently lead to the formation of the Earth Tricelaris Organization, or EDO for short. The EDO is a clandestine group dedicated to welcoming the Trisolarans. They believe the alien arrival presents an opportunity for humanity to evolve beyond its current limitations. However, the EDO isn't a monolith. Three distinct factions have emerged within the organization, each with a different approach to humanity's future with the Trisolarans. The Adventists. These fervent believers view the Trisolarans as saviors. They welcome their arrival as a chance for humanity to transcend its current state. The Redemptionists. This faction believes humanity needs to actively demonstrate its worth to the Trisolarans, hoping to appease them and earn a place in their new world order. The survivors. These pragmatists prioritize survival above all else. They see collaboration with the Trisolarans as the only way to ensure humanity's continued existence, even if it means sacrificing autonomy. As we'll see, these differing ideologies within the Edo will play a crucial role in the events to come. Now, let's jump back to the present day and rejoin Wang Miao. His expertise in nanomaterials research takes an unexpected turn when he's drawn into a series of bizarre events. Leading physicists worldwide are experiencing unexplainable scientific anomalies that defy our understanding of the laws of physics. Deeply intrigued, 
Wang investigates further and stumbles upon a mysterious virtual reality game called Three Body. Little does he know, this immersive game holds the key to a terrifying truth. As Wang delves deeper into the game's complexities, a horrifying realization dawns on him. The game's chaotic and unpredictable environment directly mirrors the reality of the Trisolaran homeworld, the one plagued by three suns. It becomes chillingly clear that Three Body is not just a game, it's a message, a glimpse into the desperate situation of the alien civilization. With this revelation, the truth can no longer be contained. Humanity receives messages from the Trisolarans themselves, confirming their existence and their impending arrival. Panic erupts across the globe. Societies fracture as some succumb to despair, while others embrace radical ideologies or blindly follow the Edo's promises. The world teeters on the brink of chaos as humanity grapples with the chilling reality of an alien invasion. In the face of this existential threat, humanity scrambles for a defense. A clandestine international organization known as the Battle Command Center, BCC, takes center stage. Comprised of the world's leading scientists and military minds, the BCC has been monitoring the Edo and the Trisolaran threat for some time. Now, with the messages received, their worst fears are confirmed. But developing an effective defense strategy against an advanced alien civilization seems like an insurmountable task. The BCC faces fierce internal debates. Should they attempt to fight back, knowing it might be futile? Or should they focus on appeasement, hoping to somehow earn the Trisolaran's favor? The weight of this responsibility takes its toll. Wang Miao, burdened by the knowledge of the impending invasion and the seemingly impossible task of preparing, suffers a mental breakdown. Thankfully, he finds unwavering support in Shi Chang, a resourceful military officer who remains steadfastly by his side. Adding another layer of complexity, the Trisolarans have deployed sophisticated technology called softens that can disrupt scientific progress. These microscopic particles can manipulate physics in subtle ways, hindering humanity's ability to develop advanced weaponry or communication methods. With humanity's scientific progress under attack and societal collapse looming, the BCC faces a seemingly impossible situation. But just as hope seems to dwindle, a shocking revelation emerges. As humanity teeters on the brink of despair, a bombshell discovery throws everything into question. A clandestine communication channel has been established between a single human and the Trisolarans themselves. The identity of this individual remains shrouded in secrecy. Their motives and the content of their communication with the alien invaders are a complete mystery. This revelation casts a long shadow of doubt. Is this a potential savior negotiating humanity's surrender, or a traitor collaborating with the enemy? The cliffhanger ending leaves us with more questions than answers. Who is this secret communicator, and what are their intentions? Will humanity find a way to defend itself against the seemingly invincible Trisolaran fleet? These are the questions that will propel us into the next book in the Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy, The Dark Forest. If you're eager to unravel the mystery and witness humanity's desperate struggle for survival, be sure to check out The Three-Body Problem and continue your journey with the next book in the series. The Three-Body Problem is a mind-blowing exploration of first contact gone wrong. It forces us to confront the fragility of human civilization and the desperate lengths we might go to in the face of annihilation. Sishin Lu brilliantly weaves together scientific concepts, political intrigue, and psychological suspense, leaving you on the edge of your seat. What are your thoughts on the book's themes of survival, first contact, and societal collapse? Who do you think the secret communicator might be? 
Leave your theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this exploration of the three-body problem, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more in-depth book reviews and discussions. And for those who haven't experienced this epic first book yet, I highly recommend checking it out and diving headfirst into the Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy. You won't be disappointed.